Okay, this is going to be a short demo of the web application. All right, so to get started, I'm going to just register a new user. Uh, first, ask for its name, uh, then email address. So first, I'm going to use an email address that already exists. If it already exists, it lets you know that it's taken. So once you find an email that isn't taken, it lets you know that it is available. Um, has a shows you how strong your password is. Um, so if you just create one, uh, it tells you it's very strong. Now, this will let you know if it's a match or not. Uh, you can't move on until there is a match. Um, and so now that there's a match, you're going to create the account. Now, this tells the user that they must first be approved by administration, and they will not be able to access the page until the account has been approved and it tells them that they will receive an email at their email address when it has been activated. Currently the KISS system is set up to where it sends an email to a defined user uh, or to a defined email. Right now it's just sending to my at tmu.edu email but later on we can set that up to send to whatever email uh, is necessary. Uh, currently it takes about five minutes for the email to get to the inbox so while we're waiting on that um, I'll show you this contact page. This contact page is very simple. Just uh, first ask the user for their email address. Um, there's a subject line. Um, we'll just say it's a test, and this is a test. Um, now, this will also send to a defined email account. Um, all the all the query inquiries will be sent to uh, currently my email address, but later on, like I said, uh, we can change that to send to any any email. Uh, so when it sends it, it says, thank you for your inquiry. We will respond to your message at their email, and please check your email soon. Uh, so now that's the contact page, and I'll show the search page. Um, the search page uh, just has all the attributes right here. Um, you can, if you don't select anything, where they're all just selected any, it just shows everything that's in the database. Um, currently, there's only seven taxonomies, or different ships. Um, Say you want to look at just the ships that have three masts, then come over here, select three, uh, update this search, and um, then it just shows the ships with three masts. Now, if you can say, I only want to look at this type with square cells, um, it does that only. Uh, so this is an and, so it'll only go if it is this type and uh, this type and this eh, it's not an or so uh, you can kind of construct any kind of search you want based on that um, so that's that uh, the home page right now just has the register button and login so if you and the search page can be accessed by anyone no matter if they're logged in or not um, and uh, but if you come over here to the app page, um, it redirects you to the login page to say, hey, you cannot come here until, you, uh, until you're signed in. So currently we're still waiting on this email to get to my account. Um, in the meantime, I'll just show you, uh, just go ahead and log in to my other account. So once you log in, you're first brought to this page where you can either upload a new image or select from the existing image. If you select from the existing images, it, it searches the database of all the images and puts them in a drop-down menu. Um, if you, you can also type in here. So if, if you just come over here and or Netherlands, start typing, it jumps to that, or if you want to go back to the will. Um, but then once you select it, Hit select brings up the image and uh, all the taxonomies associated with it. If you uh, click on this image, that one of the taxonomies, it highlights it in red and brings it down here, um, and also reselects it over here. Um, when it pops up, it also pops up with the new with the taxonomy records and all the image info. Um, actually, I just got this email, so let me show you how that works. Uh, 
So it sends an email to uh, approve an account. So it says a request has been made by Austin Griffin at this email account to create an account. Please click the link to approve the request. So once uh, the link is clicked, it'll take you to a message that says either success or fail. And here it says activation success. So now uh, once you click that button, it will send an email to the user notifying him, that, hey, you can now, uh, your account has been activated. Um, but for just so we can go ahead and move on, I'm not going to sign into that account. Here's also the message. Uh, the contact page this sent me it just said you know this is a test with uh, the subject line and the subject line I swing it back to here um, if we want to make any changes we'll just change this uh, country and uh, change the author uh, submit changes it lets you know if it was successfully done or not and for each attribute so this one says it was uh, author was updated and the region was updated if you come down here it is now updated. Uh, say, okay, so this one has one mast, so that's good. Uh, if we want to select a new image or new taxonomy, let's come over here, let's grab this, this guy right here. Um, hit crop image. So now we have a new image, and uh, all the image info stays the same, but now the tax, taxonomy info needs to be updated. So Go over here, we'll say it's done with cells, uh, looks like triangle, um, I can see one mast, and submit changes, it uh, tells you that the characteristics have been updated. Come down here, and they are still there, but these are left blank. Um, so now, I'm going to come to just the app page to show you how to upload a new image. So it's uh, it's automatically selected, so then we'll go next. Uh, we'll go choose file. It'll bring up uh, just your file browser. Um, we'll select this ship, open, and upload image. So this will take a second. Ooh, that's my internet just went bad. Just. Okay, there we go. So that worked. Um, so we want to. Oh, first, uh, we'll update this information. Just create. Just select. Oh, this is also you can say if you want to go United States. Um, jumps to whatever you start typing. Um, let's just update changes. It tells you that every single attribute was updated. So now we want to come and select a ship over here. Just like before, it'll crop that image. Uh, it'll automatically select it and tell you to update these. Um, let's just put some random stuff in there just to test it successfully updated it. Uh, these are in here, so we just changed that to the title. So if we come back to app, um, go select from existing, um, the title is now on that list. Select it, brings up the image, and reselect that, and our data is still there. Um, so now I'll show you the admin page. The admin page just allows for some just admin controls so you can edit taxonomy characteristics manage users and edit countries and regions so first I'll go to taxonomy characteristics this just allows you to uh, add options to uh, the drop-down menus on the taxonomy records to so say we want to add you know uh, a none for sales option um, come over here submit changes and it says successfully updated attribute for sales um, which is good that's what we want to look we'll have none so now we also say we want to create a new characteristic so it's create a new attribute come down here at the bottom just gave it a random title so 
we'll say, uh, we'll just make size, we'll say, uh, small, medium, and large ships, just for, uh, testing. So now it says updated the name and updated the attributes. Come down here and they should be up, uh, updated. Come over here back to app, select uh, an existing image, just real fast. Um, we should see and select this. We should see that size is now an option and can be added to the database and searched for. So let's say it's a large ship, submit changes, uh, Come over here to search, and now this is now a searchable attribute as well. So I want to search for just large ships, and that one's the only one that is currently tagged to large. Um, come back to uh, the admin page. So we can go back to this. So let's say we don't really want that in there anymore, then we can just uh, delete that attribute. It tells you that it was deleted. Come back to the search page, and there's no longer a uh, size option as well with the app page there will no longer be a size option to insert data so now if we want to go to the manage users here's where we can uh, we can delete a user we can promote a user uh, demote a user or ban a user so say we want to uh, promote this user and the currently there's only four user levels there's an a b c and d um, we'll give them certain um, privileges based on different characteristics. But right now the site isn't quite ready for, there's not, it's not very dynamic, so there's not too much that you need to hide from users besides the admin page. So currently only admin can access the admin page and then uh, admin is C or greater. Um, so now uh, say we want to promote this user, uh, successfully promoted user, and their type just went back to went to B. So we want to demote him. Uh, it's demoted, um, and then so well first let's uh, let's come over here and log out. And this is the account that we just created earlier. Um, first we type in a bogus password. It says it's an incorrect password. Type in bad email, it says the email's not found. Um, so just show you that the activation did work and we can now sign in. But um, say we want to ban that user. Then if we say ban user, it'll say successfully banned user. Uh, they still show up as a user, they are just currently banned. And if we log out and try and log in with that email and account, it'll let them know that the account is not activated because they have been banned. Um, come back over here to, let's log into the good account. Um, So say we want to actually delete this user, delete the user, and now he's gone. And if we try and sign in with that account, it will uh, should not. It should say your email not found, which email is not found because it no longer exists. Um, so that's currently how the application is set up and working. As of now, there's a few things that are going to be uh, changed, like the admin page. I don't haven't. Uh, made this edit countries list so it currently does nothing but uh, once I implement that it will pretty much allow uh, an admin the ability to add countries or regions to the list to the drop down menu for um, for the countries so right here if uh, they'll be able to add uh, attributes here uh, so uh, that's it for now